it's great what you're doing and you're very positive. That's what I've noticed about you. I think that's, you know, we all have adversities in our life, but you try to, to get out of it. You all, based on the book I read from mm -hmm. him, he looked at the positive aspect, which is something that I do too. And I think that's probably why we connected. And can you, I guess, what prompted you to actually write and actually publish your book? I've always kind of been thinking outside of the box. I wanted to do something that was was true to me, um, but also not necessarily something that, you know, a typical young adult or, or someone who's just finishing up university is going to do, right? It's not very typical for um, someone who's who's quite young. I was just 21 when I uh, published the book um, to actually get into this kind of stuff. Um, but it was honestly just like, you know, it's a, it was a challenge, um, as I'm sure you, you know yourself. Uh, you know, you get writer's block. You're like, I don't even know if anyone's going to read this book. I think I'm just going to throw it in the trash, right? But it's just like going through that through that adversity um, and just building that resilience is what, is what kept me going. I, I guess I could ask you the, the same question, um, just kind of based off reading your book, like you've uh, been diagnosed with cancer twice. Um, it's so easy, I think, when you when you face adversity to kind of let it let it bring you down. And, you know, I've never been I've never experienced anything like that on, on that extreme i guess so like how, how do you do it how do you how do you stay positive with, with the world trying to break you down well i think well that's a great question you're in you know, i think a lot of it had to do with the time the first my kids were young i have sons mm -hmm. and i think they were eight and 11 at the time and so you're like holy crap right and mm -hmm. i wanted to be there for them that was how i i wanted to be I mean, I wasn't hiding what I was dealing with, but I wanted to show them, hey, you know, you can get through this. And I really had some strong support, thankful, you know, from my husband. He's one mm -hmm. of those guys. We're so opposite, but he supports me in that regard. And it could possibly re be related to my upbringing as well, because mm -hmm. um, I st stood out a little bit being raised in the, the part of the country that I grew up in. I'm a military brat, right? My mother's not from the United States. Mm -hmm. So I think I learned resilience from their examples from my mother and my father and eventually my stepfather. I think that's, I think you're, you don't realize how much of a role model you are for other people. And that's probably why I wanted to be positive for my sons. That's really kind of what mm -hmm. it is. And it's, it's, trust me, it was like, holy crap, what, when you hear this information yeah. and but at the same time, you have to have, I think, be grounded in some shape or form. And you can't do something like that by yourself either. No. So so do you think it was it was your your mindset that like, got you through it alone? Yes. My mindset had a lot to do with it mm -hmm. because I'm like you. I do look at the positive And it's, I think that helps. If you're mm -hmm. rather than folk, yeah, you have to get through and acknowledge something negative like that. You have to acknowledge that. But then, okay, what can I do? to say, um, be here, make sure I'm here for my sons. And I do a lot of, did a lot of research, mm -hmm. right? On, on, on 